So could going vegan save the world? From a climate perspective, it may make a big difference, according to a new study that says cutting down on meat and dairy and eggs could cut back on carbon emissions by almost 60 percent. Our Maura Barrett takes a closer look in a new series we're calling Climate Changes, looking at how the climate crisis is changing how we live and maybe, in this instance, how we eat. Fire a Billy and a Reuben. Masio's Butcher Shop in L.A. is known for its Californian sandwich, stacked with bacon, turkey, and gouda. But all that meat and cheese is actually entirely made from plants. It smells just like bacon grease. Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> I feel like that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> As a nutritionist, it's been Masio's dream for years to open a space like this. The shop is basically the combination of all the things that I care the most, which is like animal welfare, healthy eating, and the environment, the planet. What does your ideal customer look like here? The meat eaters. <laughs> she and her partner Joe are fighting something bigger than the lunch rush. Their goal? Helping people realize just how effective plant-based food can be when it comes to fighting climate change. How does eating this sandwich contribute to helping the climate? The carbon footprint is pretty minimal compared to what it takes to create actual turkey and actual bacon. A recent study found plant-based food production accounts for nearly half as many greenhouse gas emissions as animal-based food. I think what's become, coming more into focus is our diet. Definitely affects climate change. Put another way, if you were to eat a hamburger made from farmed cows every day for a year, the greenhouse gas emissions would be equivalent to driving a car more than 7,000 miles. That's two and a half times across the country. But if that same burger was made from beans instead, the equivalent car trip would be just 93 miles, about the distance from New York City to Philadelphia. For Patrick Brown, co-founder of plant-based food company Impossible Foods, it's just smart business. The use of animals in food production is by a wide margin the most destructive technology in the world today. Reducing or eliminating animal agriculture, reducing it as much as possible, is the world's best and maybe only chance to actually put the brakes on global heating. There's this dream or idea that someone can bite to a sandwich or a burger and not know whether it's plant-based or real meat. Do you see that as being the future? I see it as being the present, to be honest. There are plant-based products on the market that in blind taste says to consumers are identified as meat unambiguously and preferred over the animal product. It's not at all unreasonable to think that within a decade or so, there could be a flip where the better technology that produces products that are more delicious, more nutritious, and very soon they'll be more affordable than the animal products. Have a good one. A plant-based future that for some is close enough to taste. Thumbs up for me. Hallie, researchers point out that meat eaters are open to making the switch to a plant-based diet. In fact, Good Food Institute found that 93% of Americans bought a combination of plant-based and animal meat last year. Now, as consumers are thinking about it, as you might expect, the big factors they're considering are taste and price. Now, taste has made leaps and bounds in development over the last few years. That's why you see companies like Chipotle, Starbucks, Taco Bell really capitalizing on this market. Now, as for price, developments are moving quickly, technology is improving, uh, and with more options on the market, that means that prices could even out or even ultimately cost less than that animal meat option. Now, big picture, either way you look at it, this is becoming more and more popular. The plant-based uh, industry right now is valued at $30 billion globally, and Bloomberg Intelligence predicts that this number could triple, more than triple by 2030. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.